hi guys welcome to my kitchen but first of all first of all let me show you guys what this kitchen used to look like So, you have seen what this kitchen used to look like, right? Let me show you what my kitchen looks like right now. Let's go! Can you believe this transformation? Let me tell you something. This kitchen was actually transformed on a budget, okay? I did not go and get, you know, some fancy furniture people to come and give me a coat and, you know, redo my whole kitchen. I had to do so many things myself, okay? I had to buy my wood myself. I had to buy, you know, the door handles, some other things myself. And then I paid my carpenter to do some of the changes. I went to where they sell the marble and I chose the marble, that is the countertop. I went and chose it and bought it by myself. I did the measurement by myself, even though at some point I had to get someone to come and, you know, do a proper measurement. But yeah, I had an estimate in my head because I measured it by myself. I tried to do so many things myself because we did not have that much money to play around with. But yeah, let me walk you through my kitchen and tell you all about it, okay? So the first obvious change that you might notice in my kitchen is that it is now brighter and well lit, okay? My kitchen used to look very dark and gloomy and also you will notice that the tiles and the color scheme of the kitchen has also changed, finally! <laughs> if you have been following me for a while, you will know that the color of my kitchen used to annoy the hell out of me, okay? Why on earth does anybody need a burnt orange plus red plus, you know, black kitchen? Like, why? Who is this in the kitchen? Is it Kanayo or Kanayo? I just call it Ogwego kitchen, okay? <laughs> in fact, when I moved in here, the walls actually had brick, um, wallpaper on them yes imagine brick wallpaper plus you know red and orange and the kitchen was just it was just a lot it was a lot okay but yeah finally i have changed the color scheme to basically white and gray which are my favorite colors when it comes to home decor okay um my office is actually white and gray as well anyway yeah uh initially my husband was like kicking against the gray part he was like why do you like gray so much everything you want everything to be gray but doesn't it look good now doesn't it look good now <laughs> Um, yeah, so the first thing that I did in the kitchen was to change the wall tiles, like the backsplash, okay? The black wasn't that bad, but on top of every other thing in the kitchen, the colors, it just wasn't working for me. So I changed it to white. I got these tiles for 6,000 naira per square meter. Yeah, I bought the tiles myself, okay? I went there and, and looked for them. We ended up using 7 square meter. Actually, 6 would have been enough. But yeah, we didn't calculate very well, but we had to use the whole seven because my tiles cannot come and waste. And then I brought a tiler to come and do the job and he collected 12,000 in total, okay? I also bought white cement for, I think, 2.5 or 1.5, I can't remember. As for the lights, it was my husband that changed the lights for me. He puts brighter bulbs, I don't know what they call them, but he just puts brighter bulbs for me. He even changed them without me asking. Okay, that was the first, in fact, that was actually the first thing that was changed in this kitchen before anything else. So the next thing that was changed were the doors of the cabinet and then the entire bottom cabinet, okay? Um, let me explain. So, in this kitchen before, we had the top cabinet and the bottom cabinet, but I did not want to, first of all, I didn't have enough money to like do the whole thing, okay? And I didn't want to tell my carpenter because using my carpenter would have been cheaper, but I don't think he's that professional. So I didn't want him to change the top cabinet and then put nonsense for me and then I'll regret calling him, you know? So I just told him, you know what you're going to do? Just change the doors for me, leave the whole entire framework of the top 
um, um, shelves, leave the entire framework there since nothing was wrong with the shelves basically. Except that I didn't like the color, nothing really was wrong with it. So we left the entire top shelf, but the entire bottom shelf was removed. And even this island, we had to change the island. So another change that we made to the bottom cabinet is that we lifted them up from the floor and we left the under open, okay? Some people actually lift it up, but they put wood and cover, you know, the base. But we decided to leave it open, okay? Because I do not want to deal with any rats infestation or any smell i want to be able to access under the drawers every time we clean the kitchen it just has legs it doesn't have it's not covered by wood or anything like that everything that was used for this kitchen i bought them myself so yeah we just paid him thirty-five thousand for this work i think he did a pretty good job okay he tried but you guys nigerian carpenters and artisans story for another day okay so if you're interested in using my carpenter for any work i'll give you his number okay but disclaimer Caveat emptor. <laughs> Buyers beware that you're gonna have headache, you're gonna have stress. He might actually raise your blood pressure, but yeah, finally the work is going to be done. So let's move on to these countertops. I really love these countertops. I actually chose them myself, like I said, and I bought them for 20,000 per square meter, and we used eight square meter in total okay yes and this design is called royal white okay it's not pure white it's actually a bit off white and it has specks of gray um dots okay specks of gray on it the color also helps to brighten the kitchen right right i really love it so much it looks so clean so beautiful and it really complements the gray cabinet you know yeah i love it a lot okay <laughs> So I paid 15,000 Naira for the installation and transportation. I think it's quite affordable, 15,000 Naira and you know, they cut it and brought it here and installed it. Then I also paid 10,000 Naira to the guy who, you know, helped me to coordinate the whole thing. He wasn't, um, he's a carpenter, but he just came, he knows the people that sell this marble very well. So he helps me to take the measurements and he helps me to supervise the whole work while it was being done. Because let me tell you something, wherever they do this marble work, the amount of dust, by dust I mean, no, this is actually stone, I mean the dust from the stone is so much, okay, like there's no way I would have been here to supervise it myself. So I paid the guy 10,000 naira, so he supervised it, told them to their shop, to cut, to bring it here and all of that. Next, let's talk about this beautiful sink. I love this sink so much. Like I enjoy washing plates now. I enjoy cleaning my kitchen. So I got this sink for 50,000 naira. Yeah, for me it was quite expensive, but they kept insisting that they cannot go below 50k because dollar is expensive, dollar is expensive. Anyway, let's just accept that it is dollar that made it expensive. But I love it so much because it's so good, so special, so deep. It's actually very deep. It's not so wide, okay, but it's actually deep enough for you to put a lot of plates, even pots. For you to wash pots inside, it's actually deep enough. I love this basket that it comes with. It comes in handy when we want to you know, let some things drain in the sink. We just put it here, instead of putting it directly in the sink. And then this tap mixer, whatever they call this, but yeah, I got it for 10,000 Naira. I guess calculating how much I've spent so far, because to be honest, I have not sat down to calculate the total, but I'm going to do that after this video. And maybe add it somewhere in the video, okay? So another thing I really love about this sink is this dishwashing liquid dispenser. It comes in so handy so my kitchen counter is always clear you won't see any soap eh, this one that no 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 it's always clear and always clean the only things that you might see here most times is just the sponge we used to wash i don't know where it is right now i think it's under here okay it's under here um but yeah you just see the sponge we used to wash plates that's it i love the fact that my kitchen is always my kitchen counter is always clear okay a clear kitchen counter makes for a clear hedge <laughs> Another thing that I changed are the kitchen curtains. Before we had some flimsy kitchen curtains here. I didn't really like them, but I just made do with them. I had to put actual wooden blinds in the kitchen. And I love this blind so much. And the color actually complements the kitchen because like I said, these countertops are actually off-white. They are almost the same color. This one has more yellow in it. So I got these blinds on two sides. We have one here. The big one, the major kitchen window, that's this one. You guys see how much light comes into my kitchen right now. Then I also have on the smaller windows behind you guys, okay? Behind where the camera is, is where we have the smaller windows. So I paid a total of 37,000 Naira for both blinds. For me, it was kind of expensive, but again, dollar is expensive, and uh, wood, wood uh, this thing is expensive. I was just like, okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, moving on. 
actually one of the major changes we did in this kitchen was changing the world i actually got somebody who removed all the wallpapers both the new and the old everything went and then the guy screeded the walls okay so i had to buy uh, he called it potty. Yeah, he came and screeded the walls and then after screeding, you know, we painted it with white paint. So I bought the white paint for 14,000 Naira from Intercolor. It is their silky white paint. So you can actually clean this paint. That's why I wanted the silky because you can clean it. So I also paid the painter. Um, everything I paid him in total, okay, plus his workmanship, plus the painting, the screening, everything I paid him in total was 40,000 Naira, okay? It's, it's, it's not, I don't know, I don't know, I don't think it's cheap or expensive, I think it's just correctly priced. Removing that wallpaper was a huge, in fact, I'm sure if he had his way, he would have told us to add more money because he, he didn't anticipate the kind of work he was about to do because removing that wallpaper wasn't easy coupled with the fact that it already had another wallpaper on top of it so anyway finally he got it done for 40,000 naira and the kitchen looks amazing <laughs> the kitchen looks amazing yeah i also forgot to mention that the body of the upper cabinet we are covered in formica remember i said that we only changed the doors of the cabinets that are up but the body we are I think off-white or cream or something so we had to use gray for my car you know to cover the body so that everything will look uniform okay it's all about the look it's all about the look <laughs> also for the plumbing work our plumber blocked some holes that we had in the wall that we did not know we had that was where rat was coming into the house from and then he you know installed the new sink and did everything about the sink so i don't know how much my husband paid him in particular i'm going to ask because my husband communicated directly with him and paid him directly for that so i don't know how much my husband paid him for that but i'm sure it wasn't a lot of money i think he said 10k i think he said my husband said 10k yeah so that's it for all the major changes that we did in this kitchen now let me show you guys what is inside the cabinet okay this is one of my favorite cabinets and you're going to see why Ta -da! so basically this is our breakfast pantry is that what i'll call it yeah this is where we keep our breakfast cereals and food items and drinks and teas and all of that so yeah so i also bought this um, containers new i bought them for sixteen thousand naira it was a set of eight containers for sixteen thousand naira so i think that's a good buy that's about two thousand naira each and this is um, acrylic and it has a vacuum cover so yeah i think that was a really okay bye let me not say really good bye another thing i love so much are these labels i got these labels from minimalist ng on instagram okay i'm going to leave a handle on the screen and in the description box so you can go and get these labels just tell her the labels you want like you give her your list and then she'll print them and send them to you i love the font i chose the font you can choose other fonts if you like but i chose this font and i absolutely love how they turned out another buy that wasn't so cheap but i love it so much is this this is actually a cake turn table i was looking for a lazy susan that will fit some of these things but i couldn't get a big lazy susan they were all really small and you know cute but small so i went and got a cake turn table this is from ikea although i bought it from a nigerian store i bought it for nine thousand naira so when i was buying it my my chest was was heaving but because it's a cake turn table and because it's solid wood and it's really good and it's quite spacious I had to just get it okay and yeah so on top of it what i love so much about it is that every of my breakfast things my teas honey nutella green tea um, margarine everything fits on it just nicely and i don't have to scatter them or you know be looking for one thing behind something else no all i have to do is just turn okay just turn it just turn it and then you get what you want so I absolutely love it. Like, I love it. <laughs> I want to marry it. I love it. <laughs> In here, I have my spices and some food stuff. So this is Gary. This is Pando. The stickers are from, you know, that minimalist lady. And then these are my spices. I just stacked up some wood behind here. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm showing you, but I stacked up some wood behind here to kind of layer my um, spices so that I can see everything at the same time. I put some of the longer spices at the back and put the shorter ones in the middle and put some long ones down, okay? I've, I got this uh, paper towel stand a long time ago. I can't even remember how much or where I got it from. But what is new are this set of chopping boards. So these two actually came in a set. 
you can see it, Chicago Cutlery. This came in a set and I bought this one on its own. I got this set for, I think 9,000 Naira for everything. I think it was about 9K. So yeah, actually an okay buy as well. I got it from Next Cash and Carry. This gas cooker is not new. If you watched my previous kitchen transformation, you would have seen that's when I bought this. I think it's two years ago. That was when I bought this gas cooker. It's from Scanfrost. It has served me well. It is still serving me well. It still looks good. So yeah, it didn't need to be changed. We've also had this microwave for years, even though we just started using it like last year. This stand was actually from the previous microwave. So we keep it here because we put hot spots on it. It's not so new. Yeah, it's even a little bit rusted. Okay, it has some character. Yeah, it has character. But yeah, so we keep it here because we keep hot pots on it if we have to. Like if here is full and we have to bring out something hot, we keep it on top of here. But yeah, um, yeah. So these are extras. This is where we keep rice. This is where we keep beans. But beans is finished. I need to go to the market. So another absolutely beautiful buy for me is this potted plant. I got this plant from um, Next Cash and Carrying. It's called I think Chinese Evergreen or something like that. I, I, actually, I don't know the name, but I know that on the receipt I saw something like Chinese Evergreen potted plant or whatever. But yeah, that's it. Even this flower actually, this um, leaf actually came out in this house. It wasn't there. Another one is coming out. Like it's so beautiful. I love it. It adds a little bit of color to my kitchen because my kitchen is quite gray and white. Like <laughs> literally almost everything is gray, white, silver. So I got this just to add some color and some freshness to my kitchen. So I just put it in this basket I've had in this house for years. I just put it there because I didn't really like the black um, um, planter and I couldn't get like a basket to cover it. So I just took this one and put it. It looks good to me, okay? So this chair is actually not new. I've had it for years as well. My husband brought it here because he said that my kitchen is looking too dull. Like he wanted a, a brighter pop of color. So he brought this chair here and I'm just like, whatever, okay? I really don't care about it, but let it be here so that you can sit down with me when you come to the kitchen. And this freezer is also not new. I think my husband bought it last year or last two years um, but yeah it's not new so yeah that's it about the new things that i bought let me just breeze through and show you guys what is inside the rest of the drawers and the cabinets so here we have some of our kitchen tools that's the juice jug um hand blender grater small mortar measuring cups measuring spoons so here we have most of our aluminium ware we have moi moi plates cake pan salad bowls and you know serving bowls that are all made of aluminium everything is inside here in here we have pots and pans in here we have plastics um tupperware and stuff like that under the sink we just have some extra cleaning supplies inside here we have our kitchen towels and we actually have way more than these that is why i dedicated a drawer to just kitchen towels because every day whenever we wash plates pots and stuff like that we actually dry them immediately with our kitchen towels and keep and then whatever kitchen towels we use that day we wash it and spread and then use a backup okay the next and then here we have my new pots i bought these pots this year or was it last year but these pots are quite new and i love them i love their color and that's why they have a special place okay ideally we should have had chairs on this island but to me it's just extra clutter for pretty much no reason so that's why i decided to just make here storage before it was just one side that was storage but right now both sides are actually storage here we have most of the kids snacks and you know yeah their indomie their ribena their biscuits their school snacks sophia's food um and some other stuff are here so in here we have all our glassware glass cup smoothie bottles storage bottles tea cups and this salad bowl that i have never used and here we have all our ceramic wares plates and bowls like i said anytime we wash plates we actually dry it dry all the plates and put them back here that is why we currently don't have a place rack okay we used to have a place rack here i really didn't like it so guys that's it that's my full kitchen review and yeah we didn't change the floors because the floors look good to me they're actually dark gray they actually go very well with the cabinets so yeah we didn't change the kitchen floors i've shown you guys everything that i changed in this kitchen and i've told you how much everything costs and yeah by the way i have gotten this question asked so many times people keep asking me about my house did i rent it did i buy it did i build it is it my house is it did you rent did you rent did you buy 
yeah this house is actually rented okay but in another video i'm going to address all your questions about this house why i decided to rent this house you, this is actually a four bedroom duplex why did we rent it why are we not building you could never ask me whether i have money to build <laughs> so yeah in a separate video i'm going to address all of that it's going to be a finance investment video as well whether you should buy a house or rent a house or build your own house in nigeria the pros the cons and all of that okay anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel please watch watch adverts okay subscribe to my channel share this video please we need to make this money back all the money we spent in this kitchen we need to make it mo the money back okay <laughs> so that we will not be angry <laughs> anyway um, yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.